Have you ever stumbled upon an actor who just seemed to light up the screen? Maybe you remember that feeling of being drawn into their performances like they were speaking directly to you. For many, that's exactly how it felt when they first saw Diana Lynn on screen. Whether it was her memorable acting or her unique charm, she really left a mark on audiences. Do you have any special memories or experiences of watching her in action? Feel free to share them below. And don't go anywhere because there's more to learn about her fascinating life and career. Keep watching for some surprising, funny, and even sad facts about her. During her time in the film industry and beyond, Diana Lynn left a significant imprint. Her acting skills and unique persona influenced Hollywood greatly. She mesmerized audiences and left a lasting impression on the industry. Her talent and dedication paved the way for future actors and actresses. Beyond her on-screen roles, she was known for her professionalism and commitment to her work, earning the respect of her peers and industry professionals. She could portray a variety of characters, showcasing her versatility and making her a sought-after talent in Hollywood. One of her notable contributions was her portrayal of strong, independent women challenging norms of her time. This earned her acclaim from both audiences and critics. Her impact on the film industry continues even today, inspiring aspiring actors and actresses. Her work remains timeless and her influence persists. In conclusion, Diana Lynn's influence on the film industry was profound and lasting. Through her talent, professionalism, and memorable performances, she left a significant impression on Hollywood that continues to endure. She starred alongside Gail Russell in the well-received film Our Hearts Were Young and Gay in 1944. Diana Lynn portrayed writer Emily Kimbra, while Russell played her close friend and fellow author Cornelia Otis Skinner. Despite the age gap between the actresses and the characters they portrayed, both Kimbra and Skinner outlived their on-screen counterparts. In the late 1960s, she managed Go, a travel agency located at a Bonwit Teller store in New York City. Diana Lynn proved her talent as a Broadway performer, earning critical acclaim for her roles. She succeeded Barbara Bel Geddes in the lead role of Mary Mary and showcased her skills in various new plays, comedies, and revivals. Amidst the hustle and bustle of film production, tension soared as the director, juggling multiple roles, demanded perfection. Both actors found themselves overwhelmed by the prolonged shooting schedule and financial strain. Despite her musical talent, one actress felt stifled by the director's vision, while the other struggled with the pressure of the set. As days turned into weeks, frustrations grew, yet a sense of unity emerged among the cast and crew as they worked tirelessly to complete the project. Despite the challenges, the movie stands as a tribute to their dedication and determination, preserved on screen for future audiences to enjoy. In 1970, Diana Lynn switched careers, moving from acting to directing at the Go Agency in Manhattan. Despite her talent on screen, she wanted to make a bigger difference behind the camera. Sadly, after just one year, she had a stroke and passed away at 45. This shocked the entertainment world. During her acting days, she starred alongside Charles Smith in The Major and The Minor, where they played friends. After her death, she was laid to rest at the Episcopal Church of the Heavenly Rest in New York City. Her story inspires many, showing that passion knows no limits and the effects of hard work can last a lifetime. Amidst the hustle and bustle of a small town, a remarkable scene unfolds showcasing the talents of the actors and the meticulous coordination behind the camera. In this memorable moment, a character, played by Diana Lynn, impressively showcases her musical skills, adding authenticity to the film. The complexity of the long tracking shots, capturing the actors delivering dialogue while navigating through the town streets, required careful planning and execution. Cameras mounted on tracks were skillfully maneuvered by a dedicated crew, while the sound team ensured every word was captured with clarity. It's fascinating to note that one of Lynn's children has Gore Vidal as their godfather, highlighting her connections beyond the silver screen. The dedication to authenticity in the performance underscores the commitment to craft enriching the cinematic experience for audiences. Crafted with precision, each scene captures the essence of the characters and their surroundings, creating a captivating narrative on screen. In the classic film The Major and The Minor, Diana Lynn played the role of Lucy Hill, Pamela's science-obsessed sister. The character was later brought to life again in the radio adaptation of the movie. Lynn showcased her versatility once more in the remake titled You're Never Too Young, taking on the role of Nancy Collins. In the comedy My Friend Irma, Lynn portrayed Jane Stacy alongside Marie Wilson's Irma. This film marked the debut of the iconic comedy duo Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. Lewis's improvisational skills added depth to the charm of the movie, creating the character Seymour. 
Following the success of My Friend Irma, Paramount released a sequel titled My Friend Irma Goes West, maintaining the comedic partnership of Wilson, Lynn, Martin, and Lewis. Despite legal disputes over the story rights, the film series left a lasting impact on Hollywood comedy. These productions, showcasing Lynn's talent and the emergence of new comedic duos, played a significant role in shaping the landscape of entertainment during that era. They remain a testament to the enduring appeal of classic comedy in the world of cinema. In Hollywood's bustling world, connections often intertwine, creating unique family bonds. Diana Lynn, a multifaceted talent known for her acting prowess and musical skills, had a colorful family history. Her spouse, Mortimer Hall, had been previously wed to actress Ruth Roman. This blended family comprised Mortimer's son, Richard Roman Hall, and Diana's four children. Diana's musical journey started early, guided by her parents, Louis William Loher and Ertha's. She showcased her piano skills in films and albums, but a summer mishap halted her playing days. Despite this setback, her family's support remained unwavering, nurturing her artistic endeavors from childhood to stardom. It's fascinating how intertwined lives shape Hollywood legacies, leaving a lasting impact on the industry. In the realm of Hollywood tales, there lies a story that speaks of talent, tragedy, and the twists of fate that shape lives. This narrative unveils the journey of an actress whose path was altered by an unforeseen event. It begins in 1971, when she, residing in New York and enjoying semi-retirement, received an offer from Paramount to portray a character in a movie. Accepting the role marked a significant change, leading her to move to Los Angeles to prepare for the part alongside a celebrated actor of the time. However, fate intervened tragically as she suffered a fatal stroke before filming commenced. The news sent shockwaves through the industry and among her admirers. Her untimely demise left a void in the production, prompting filmmakers to reassess their plans. Looking back on her career, one recalls her earlier performance in a film where she convincingly portrayed a character much younger than herself, showcasing her versatility as an actress. Interestingly, this film's enduring popularity led to a remake with a gender-flipped narrative, highlighting her lasting influence. In Hollywood history, her work stands as a reminder of life's unpredictability in the entertainment industry. Her story is one of talent cut short, leaving us to ponder the performances that could have been. Yet, her impact remains woven into the fabric of the films she graced with her presence. This tale, both inspiring and tinged with melancholy, serves as a reminder of the fleeting nature of fame and the enduring power of a memorable performance.